so this is my lazy spa vancouver and i'm going to try and make a cover for it i did think that i might put it around the outside and then do the lid separately but i'm not going to do that i'm going to try and make um a total cover that all pulls off at the same time i think that'll just be easier so here goes and my idea is that i will just like do a star shape sort of do that shape first and then go across with the other shape and then fill in fill in the areas in between and see how it goes that's the first piece cut um, you can see as we're going around the top there's going to be a bit of surplus but I'll, I'll sort that out later so this is the whole of the 10 metre roll it's not really got very far so I'm cutting this bit off along here because we don't need all this so there'll be one piece that I've gained that can go somewhere so those are the two surplus pieces that I've just uh, stuck together and, and there's more than enough than to do there um, I want to make a handle so it can be pulled off easily all in one go because it's going to be pretty flimsy really so I'm just going to measure and see what I can make the mat handle out of so here it is stuck to the top and then at the side obviously it'll just be butted together there butted together there and then i need to sort out the the bits at the top so i've managed to cover all the surface of the hot tub there's a bit of a gap here but i can sort that out later so what i need to do is get busy with the duct tape or the gaffer tape or whatever you you call it and try and make it a bit tidy looking so because i want the gaffer tape to go round the tub round and round and strengthen it i need to put something here so i just need to cut a piece that goes there so you can see i've put um a piece over the top there the only bit that's not going to be covered is that bottom bit or so I don't know if this is going to be the fun bit, the hard bit, or the best bit, but I'm going to go round and round in a circle. I've only done a little bit to date. Now I've only done a little bit, but I'm tightening it up quite much, which means that it's billowing a bit at the top, but I can sort that out later. Right, so that's the first circle done. Now I've not got enough uh, duct tape for this, so rather than go round again, I'm just going to go over the seams like I've done with that one. So here it is. Looks a bit like a dog's breakfast, but I'll get some nice shiny silver tape and use that. It's just that I'm very impatient and I ran out of uh, grey gaffer tape, so I just had to go with what else I could find. So now I've got to try and see if it comes off and goes back on <laughs> without falling to bits. So that wasn't too bad to get off to be honest so um let's have a see how well it goes back on so i've just got it back on the hot tub and this is the area that goes near the egg so we'll just get that there i just have to put the phone down quite a tight squeeze but The tapes really held it together. So that came on and off quite well. I don't even think I need a handle. I've just purchased a, what's advertised as a glass tarp. So I'm just gonna show you how I'm gonna get these creases out using a hairdryer. So 
so you can see now um, a lot of the creases have gone the big lines haven't gone yet but I think they'll in time they will go I've made some weights by putting some stones in um, an old pair of tights which my partner's not very impressed with but I thought it'd stretch it out so this is the uh, finished uh, den at night you can see it's had a new plastic roof on as well to make it really waterproof so I'm really pleased with it um, if you've enjoyed watching this and it's given you a few ideas it'd be great if you wouldn't mind subscribing thanks very much bye